Crossing a bustling road alone can be exceptionally perilous for a young child, as tragically exemplified in Rochester, Indiana. On their way to the school bus, six-year-old twins Xavier and Mason Engel met with a devastating accident, losing their lives when struck by a truck. However, amidst this heart-wrenching incident, their older sister displayed remarkable bravery in a split-second decision. Residents of Rochester, Michael and Brittany Stahl, were once proud parents of two daughters, Selena and Olivia. Following their divorce, Brittany later had twins with her new partner, Shane Engel, naming them Xavier and Mason. The family resided in the local Meiser Mobile home site, where the four children lived together. They all attended Mentone Elementary School and had to cross the busy State Route 25 to reach their school bus each day. However, on the fateful morning of October 30, 2018, everything changed. Nine-year-old Olivia, along with her two younger brothers, prepared to catch the school bus. Their older sister, Selena, remained at home due to a doctor's appointment. The three siblings crossed the road as usual, looking forward to their day at school. Tragically, as they made their way towards the bus, a Toyota pickup truck struck them, its driver unable to stop in time. Olivia, Xavier, and Mason lost their lives in the collision, and another child, Maverick Lowe, suffered severe injuries. In the aftermath of the tragedy, the children's uncle, Elgin Engel, made a heart-wrenching observation. Olivia held their hands while crossing to the school bus every day, he told local station WRTV News in October 2018. She was holding their hands when they were hit, and it looks like she tried to shield them. Olivia had only a split second to decide what to do, Elgin added. She chose to shield her brothers in that fleeting moment. Elgin then turned his attention to Shane, who was still at home during the accident. The father later identified his children to the police officers after rushing to the scene. Shane didn't lose just one child, Elgin told ABC News. He lost all his children. How do you console your little brother and tell him it will get better? You can't. My brother, the most loving man in the world and the best father I've ever known, is now a father to no one. As the police initiated their investigation into the accident, Elgin spoke fondly of his niece and nephews. When she got past their shyness, the two boys were bundles of energy, he recalled to Dular TV. They were constantly happy, full of life, and incredibly active boys embodying the spirit of American youth. They were the way children should be raised. Olivia, my niece, was one of the kindest children you could ever meet, Elgin continued. Nothing could deter her. She set goals and pursued them relentlessly. She was helpful and attentive to the needs of others, an ideal child in every sense. Meanwhile, it became evident that residents of the trailer park had previously raised concerns about the school bus route. They had submitted a request to the local school corporation, urging a change in the route to avoid children having to cross the dangerous street. This had been a recurring issue. Elgin told ABC News, parents had voiced their concerns to the school about the need for change. There was ample space for the school bus to enter the park and pick up the kids safely. This school had been cautioned about this issue. After the tragic accident, the school corporation took decisive action. Superintendent Blaine Conley announced that the school bus would now make stops within the trailer park rather than on State Road 25. Furthermore, Conley pledged to conduct safety assessments for all other bus stops in the district. Regarding the details of the crash, Sergeant Tony Slocum of the Indiana State Police provided additional information to the media. He explained, the investigation has revealed that a school bus was traveling northbound and came to a stop, activating its stop arm and emergency lights. He continued, The children began to cross the road and were struck by a southbound vehicle. The father had to come out and identify his children, an excruciating experience. Later that day, authorities publicly identified the Toyota driver as Alyssa Shepard. According to Shepard, she had not initially recognized that the lights ahead belonged to a school bus. By the time she realized it, Olivia, Xavier, and Mason were already crossing the street. Tragically, she was unable to stop the truck in time to prevent the fatal collision. Authorities issued a warrant for Shepard's arrest, charging her with three counts of reckless homicide, disregarding a stop sign, and causing injury. She was taken into custody on the day of the accident but was released on bail later that evening. Elgin expressed his frustration when discussing the driver, saying, you're supposed to board your bus and be safe. What are you doing not paying attention at that hour in the morning? Despite the pain, the local community came together to support the family immediately following the tragedy. On the same day as the accident, a friend of the Ingalls established a GoFundMe page with the hope of assisting the family as much as possible. Remarkably, the page has garnered over $150, 
thousand in donations from online users, just short of its two hundred dollars thousand target. As for Maverick, the fourth child involved in the accident, he is still recuperating in the hospital from his injuries. While the eleven-year-old remains under medical care, Shepard's court hearing is scheduled for November twenty eighteen, where she will face the charges against her.